Hey, what's up? So today I want to talk about some things that might change your life. If you if you apply these tips into what you're going to start, this could cha possibly change your life for the better. And that's entrepreneurship. Will that change your life? Will that help you a lot? It will help me, I know that much. Anyways, not, let's not get carried away. Let's start. So, tip number one is going to be finding your passion. What do you like to do? What problems are you trying to solve as a business? What What are you passionate about? You need to find that passion because on the, the tough days, that passion is what's going to keep you motivated. So find that passion. Now, tip number two is research the market. Know your competitors. What are your competitors doing that you could probably do or implement with your business? Know the market. Who's your core audience? Who's your demographic? What do you want to achieve with, with, with the market research? What are you looking at, you know? And yeah, that's just it. Research the market. Now, now, tip number three is crucial. This is like one of the most important tips because you can't build a house on sand and expect it to be around years, right? With no solid foundation. Well, your business plan is your foundation for your business. That's where you're going to start. So you want to start with your foundation and work your way up and build it. So, creating your business plan. What's your color schemes? What's your business logo represent? What's your mission statement? Who do you want to serve? Things like that, you know. Who are you going to source your goods from? Those are all bits and pieces of a business plan. What's your, your projections? You know, what do you want to make in the first quarter, the first three months of your business being up and running? So having that plan is crucial. Step number four is going to be start small. And start, start small. So you want to start small because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and have that basket fail and you got no more eggs left. All right. I know this from experience because I've sank thousands of dollars into one brand and lost my shirt literally <laughs> lost my shirt and and my shoes because I didn't plan very well the business wasn't viable from the start but I kept putting money into it and now it's no longer a business so take it from me start small and then scale big Start small and scale. That's step number four. Start small and scale. So step number five is crucial as well. Just as, just as important as number three was, step number five is important as well. And that's building your network. Like the saying goes, your net worth is your network. Or is it your network is your net worth? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Your network is your net worth. So the more people you know who have things that you need and they and you have things they need, you guys can build a relationship off of that. Tip for tat. Your suppliers, your vendors, they have friends, they have families, they have hobbies, they have interests, they have likes. What are those interests? What are those likes? How many family members do they have? Are, they, are there any birthdays coming up? Can your business buy a gift to give to a vendor or a supplier just to build that network and just to build that relationship? Because you don't want to be doing business with the shiesty, shady person, right? You want to be, 
You want to know who you're doing business with. That's why it's important you network. That was number five. Now, number six is the last one, guys. The last one. Number six, stay resilient in the tough times. Every single business out there went through something tough. They hurdled something. They had a mountain in their way. They walked up the mountain. They got to the pinnacle and they got to the other side. And now it's all gravy. And then it's all gravy for a bit. Did they go through something else? So during these tough times, be resilient. Bounce back. Resilience is the ability to recover from a bad situation or a tough situation. So be resilient. Stay resilient. You'll get through whatever it is that's in your way. Trust me. Don't give up. You'll be successful at the other side of what's there. So look at it. One way to look at it is it's rain. Rain. Rain's a dark time. It's moist. Nobody likes to play outside in the rain. Well, some people don't. But because of the rain, it gives life to the plants, right? To the flowers, to the seasons, to the animals. It gives life. That's a positive. So without that rain and out that darkness, your plants and your vision cannot grow. So keep that in mind, all right? But that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, man. I hope you guys take away something useful from this. Thanks for watching. One, one more time, subscribe. Comment down below what you thought about the video. Hopefully you take away something positive. God bless. And I'm out.